Hey guys, Sheepers Animations here, back again with a new video for you guys. And in this one, this is a figure I've been waiting to show off to you guys for a long time. This is Transformers Universe Derail. Uh, Derail is a Decepticon um, from the Transformers Universe video game. Uh, the video game was an online beta test uh, back maybe 2012-2013 by Jagex. That's J-E-J-A-G-E-X. Um, if you guys have uh, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you guys know that I do like to do Transformers Universe customs, and I've done them many in the past, like Overclock, Diablo, um, Astrea, uh, Triage, and Meltdown. Um, I believe those are all of the ones I've done in the past. If I missed any, um, I'll leave a play lot the playlist link in the video description below but this will be added there as well uh derail is another decepticon just like astrea and diablo um he transforms into a modified garbage truck um but it's it's decked out it's not like he's dirty or whatever he's kind of just uh menacing um as you can see um i did my best to replicate as much as replicate the guy as much as i could because of course there's no dump truck, there's no dump truck figures like, ever. So what I did was because pretty much Transformers Universe is basically spin off of Transformers Prime. So with that, they modify some of the pre-existing molds and make new molds. For example, Diablo is a spin off of RC. Estrella is a spin off of Sergeant Cup. Of uh, Sergeant Cup in the RID line. Um, Overclock is a spin off of Knockout. So on and so on and so on and so on. Derail is a spin-off of Beast Hunter's Optimus Prime. Um, I found that off just by looking at the figure. It's not exactly like Optimus Prime, but the figure, the molds are similar enough to where I can work with it. So what I did was um, all of these added parts here. He's got uh, the, the windows on the front of the uh, truck are actually barred up. Um, I'll do my best. I'll probably uh, put a picture in between transformations so you can see his vehicle mode and then the actual vehicle mode so you can see a side by side I'll do that um, later on and the front of the um, garbage truck is actually where it's interesting he's got like a scoop in front almost as if he's got a construction vehicle it's got spikes all over it so I put these two on here to replicate that so that way he can just plow through people um, and then he has in the back of course the actual part of the dumpster all this is open so sometimes what I like to do is open these up like this you know just to kind of replicate that doesn't exactly do it but it does its job so as you can see he's mostly black with a bit of silver but as you can see in his view in his robot mode when we get there he's got a lot of yellow too so um, there was a way to depict that in the vehicle mode I haven't gotten around to do it yet it's a uh, it's like a stripe design. Um, I'll have to take some time to actually do that and I'll make an update video for that. But um, all the way around, here he is. Um, you can see this top piece I added on as well. Otherwise, all this will be open because he's supposed to be a solid truck. So, I do like the way this turned out. So, the display is coming apart. Without further ado, we're just going to get down to the transformation. In order for that to happen, his, uh, his weapons have to come off, so just peg on to the front. Display. I don't know. Okay. Alright. Zoom out a little bit here. Alright. I'm supposed to be skipping this part. So, um, the transformation is pretty much the same, the exact same as B Central Office Prime. Nothing has changed, so in order for me to show you that reference picture, we are going to pause and we are going to cut ahead. Alright, so here we have him in his robot mode. As you can see, vastly different from the uh, original mold. Um, The main difference that you'll probably see is the head. Um, let's just zoom in and get into all this detail. 
The head, of, of course, is uh, the same head. Uh, I didn't take off any parts and add any parts to the little buffalo. Um, same head as before. Uh, I just shaved off the ears and uh, added a few parts. Um, these, this part here is the elephant. That's a piece of new plastic uh, based on its mobile plastic. Uh, it's basically styry. It's basically come in sheets. Um, as well as these face guards here as well. Those are also styry. But that's about it. Everything else is like the same. It's just because of the new color. Uh, as you can see, the windshield guards on here. Fog lights. Big fog lights up in front. Um, going down in the arms. You can see there's a lot of yellow. A lot of silver. The silver is probably the hardest part that I had to do, the silver and the black, it's a matter of finding the right color, because uh, originally it was dull, but I had to update the silver and whatever. So, moving on to the chest, I did shave off all of those, um, those spikes that were on the front. I shaved all of those off and got rid of them. Probably did the same thing on the view. I don't even remember if those were on there. Down to the legs. Yellow was also a bit of a pain. Here's the side view. Not much there. And then the wheels. And then the back. Not much there. A bit of a shell former. It was a shell former before. So. No complaints for me. Something I'm still currently working on is what his weapons are, because I'm still not entirely sure. Um, all the weapons in the game are kind of the, uh, the generic first-person shooter. Um, everybody has like these exotic weapons and uh, blades and whatever that are really hard to replicate. So I kind of have to come up with some of my own. Um, I could use the guns that came with uh, the these types of optimus, but I feel that would be lazy. So I want to I want to try something. Uh, this is one of the weapons I wanted to try. Um, the uh, blades that are on the front of the truck. I kind of just added pegs. I think I this peg onto its hands. Like this. I think I put these on backwards. I did. I did. See, these serve more as arm guards. Kind of, kind of like shields. Think of Captain America and Infinity War fighting with two shields. This is what this guy has. Sharp on the end, they, uh, they can block attacks. So, that's that. Again, it's a work in progress, but I think for this it works. So, yeah. about it for this video and uh this key girl so appreciate you guys uh, watching my stuff and all my videos i really do uh, if you like this video please leave a like share comment and subscribe let me know down below what you think of derail and i'll be transforming universe figures um the transformers universe game was cancelled unfortunately uh i guess it didn't meet their uh their expectations of the criteria of the game but it was the launch it was an online beta uh, they get to play as a lot of characters at least 15, I believe, on uh, Autobot and Decepticon side, uh, so 15 on each faction, um, I think, I could be wrong on that, but um, D-Rail was one of them, he was really fun to play as, uh, especially in his vehicle mode, he could just ram through people and run them over, it was fun, so um, let me know what you think of D-Rail, um, and I'm sure I'll have more Transformers Universe captions to come in the future, so appreciate you guys, um, see you guys in the next video.